can be approved of pay when this is so, it has to be adjusted accordingly. Approved income is added to income and uh, it is treated as an asset. Prepaid income is deducted and it is a liability. Now, approved and prepaid income. What is approved? Approved, this approved we are talking about is an outstanding. We call it outstanding. Another word we can use for approved or accruals is a owing or outstanding. It might come in outstanding form owing or accrual. So anything accrued income is the income that you it is a it is owed by you at the end of the day. So accrued income is added to the income. So accrued because it is an asset. It is when somebody is owing you a particular income. So you have it into your account at the end of it in the balance sheet because it is an asset. But prepaid income, it is an income that somebody has paid you. That's why anything approved must be had. And anything prepaid, prepaid or advanced, must be left, noted. Anything, any information that is approved must be had. And any information that is prepaid must be left. Now, prepaid income, prepaid income is the income. That is the subject and it's the liability. It says that the person that paid you that income paid it in advance. During the year, you're supposed to collect 200 and you collect 400. That means that person has paid 200 extra to, for you, of which he or she has not enjoyed. So that 200 naira, it is a liability to you at the end of the day. When we get to the uh, account illustration, you know more better about how we treat these items. Then we have accrued and prepaid expenses. Expenses can also be paid in advance or owing. And of which I made the example that owing is also accrual or outstanding, and the prepaid, pre prepaid is also uh, advance. Now, expenses can be paid in advance or owing, and accrual expenses is added. And uh, it is a liability because this is in form. This kind of accrued and uh, this is one we talk about is that of uh, income. And uh, that is that it has to be added because accrual expenses is the expenses that you have not paid. Is the expenses that you are owing your worker or you are owing anybody. So it forms, a, it is your liability, and it has to be recorded in the credit profit and loss account and the balance sheet. So, but prepare the expenses that is that, uh, let me take rent for example. Rent. You're supposed to pay 12000 in a year, and you pay 14000 That's what we call prepaid expenses. That's what we call prepaid expenses. You're supposed to pay 12000 and you pay 12000 That means, or you pay... 24,000. That means you have paid for full two years. And then what is the advantage of what is the prepaid? Prepaid is the what you have paid for, but you have not enjoyed. It is the benefit that, that has been paid for, but have not been enjoyed at the end of the day. So that means that company, that man, that company is owing you 12,000 because you have paid more than you're supposed to pay. That's what we call prepaid expenses. But our expenses is that the uh, is that when you are owing and you have not paid to your workers or electricity can be any form of expenses. So if they are given something like that, you let you have it to the current one and you let any prepaid. That is how we treat uh, uh, that. Then we have bad debt and provision for bad debt and provision for discount on debtor. I will want you to listen very careful. Bad debt and provision for doubt to debt and provision for discount on debt of debt of. I this is a vital area that I want you to listen very carefully when you are treating bad debt and provision for bad debt. Bad debt is written off. When well, what is the meaning of bad debt? What is the meaning of a provision? According to prudential concept, 
saying that uh, account, must, account must be very careful when you know all those all those items are guided with the uh, accounting concept. So the concept that guide provision is what we call prudency concept. You see that in the that of XS1 that uh, the accountant must be very careful to get the uh, to make provision for necessary losses and the necessary uh, uh, income at the end of the day. Now, part debt is the uh, expenses that is written up. It is a it is out of debtors. You realize it's from debtors. Like when somebody is owing a company five thousand, and you see, and they, you have a bad debt of five hundred naira. That is a four fifty. That means that person will not pay again. It is that the bad debt is a, a, it is a debt that a, you are not expected to collect again, and that's why it is written off in the in the in the uh, profit and loss. Bad debt is a is a written off items, so you cannot collect it again uh, low and beyond. So then, if you are if you are, we have two type of bad debt. They might be give, one might be given the trial balance. And the one can be given in additional information. If anyone is given additional information, the same procedure, you treat it uh, twice and you trace it back to your debtor and de deduct it from the debtor because 500, if you are not going to uh, collect 500 again, then you deduct it. So the debtor that the outsider, the customer owing you is 4,500. Now, what we call provision, of which I made mention of a prudency concept. Is that the provision is that uh, you are doubting maybe because of the attitude, looking at the attitude of the customer that uh, he might not pay or he might pay, and if it's possible that he will not pay at the end of it. So you make provision for that to debt. You make provision for it that uh, if it does not pay, uh, it goes. But if it pays, then it, the gain coming to the company. So you make provision for it that. Uh, it's possible for you not to get it. That's what we call. So they are adjusted. So all these are also adjusted from relevant account. So and the necessary entries should be made to write them off from the profit and deduct them from the debtor. You see that they, they are debtor's information. So in the, you might be given bad debt here in the general information on, and also provision for bad debt. They might give you percentage like ten percent of the debt is provision for bad debt, and then at the end of the day, you discover that you are, if you if you are told that provision for bad debt ten percent of the debt, then you this one is going to expensive. This this provision of value is going to expensive. Then you also deduct it from the debt in the uh, balance sheet. So then another one is the provision for discount on debt. Discount also when you are given discount, you know discount. We have discount allowed and discount received. Discount allowed is debited. Why discount received is credited. Now, if you are given provision for discount in national, it is not possible it happens. But if it happens in national information, they are related and associated with the debtor again. So it's an expense. It can be it must be it can be a discount allowed because any discount on debtor is discount allowed. Any discount on the side. Of the uh, our creditor is uh, discount received. Now, if a discount is allowed in additional information, then you deduct it from the debtor and then you put it as an expense because the discount allowed is an expense in the profit and loss. Topic six talk about balance sheet. What is balance sheet? Balance sheet is a statement draw up at the end of the financial set, set, uh, setting forth the various assets, liability, and capital of organization in a well arranged form. It is done up at the end of financial setting, setting forth the various asset liability at the end of the year in a well arranged form. Balance sheet is a statement, it's not an account. So it, it does not associate with a double entry principle. It's just a statement showing the affairs of the company at the end of the day. 
Now, asset and liability. Assets will be defined as a resource property or possession of the firm. They are owned by business and expect to be some of future benefit. So that is the asset, it is the property. You know, like current, uh, like a fixed asset, any fixed asset, like uh, uh, we have the motor van equipment, they are items, we are free, they are, an, they are an asset, they are possession that is owned by business. So classification of an asset. How can we add asset? Is, it has two classification. We have fixed asset and we have the current asset. Fixed assets are long-lasting assets which are used for the purpose of creating productive capacity and not for sale to the customer. So this asset is asset that they are tangible. You can see them. So they, it, 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 it is long last and they, they, they create productive capacity which uh, they return, the complete benefits returns from them at the end of the year. So examples are land and building, motor van, equipment, machinery, uh, for fitting, furniture and fitting, and so on. Then